Welcome back, welcome back to another episode of Beeple Reactions. This is episode 3. And if you did not know, you should already know by now. Uh, Beeple is the artist behind the most expensive NFT to have ever been sold. This is not just one image. This is 5,000 images combined to make one supreme image. And each image tells its own story has its own deep meanings and philosophical meanings and if you have not checked out the artwork the link is in the description below check out the artwork for yourself and come back here and we can talk about it and interpret it together that's the whole purpose of this channel now the piece we're going to be looking at today is named Wookie Island I'm going to put it right here Wookie Island is what it's called and from the jump let's have a talk about exactly what can we see in this image so i personally have not seen the star wars movies but i know that there are some characters from star wars within this image right here we have the stormtroopers and we have these beast looking things i'm not sure what their name is but if you watch star wars you probably know what their name is so we have these beast looking things we have stormtroopers we have some long trees we have two moons. I'm not sure why there's two moons. Because there's only one moon in the sky. And it seems to be this type of jungle type of environment. So it's a fairly simple image. And from the jump. What this image makes me think of. <laughs> I know this might sound a bit crazy and far-fetched. But it makes me think of colonization. Now I don't want to offend anyone by saying this. But. You know, the stormtroopers, their uniforms are white. They are in white outfits. They are pointing guns. And then you've got these gorilla beast-like looking people. You know, which could be referring to like, you know, colored people, perhaps Africans, Indians, uh, you know, Native Americans, Aboriginals. So this image from the jump, it makes me think of colonization you know people coming with guns dressed in military equipment coming to colonize countries you know so this image just instantly makes me think of colonization and i'm quite curious as to why there is two moons you know as you can see there's one massive moon and then there's one smaller moon just on the left but you know this is the real world this is the real world and obviously colonization doesn't actually look like this we're not dealing with aliens and we're not dealing with spaceships you know life is not star wars but as you know in a lot of hollywood movies and a lot of bollywood movies uh what is shown within these movies the concepts the symbolisms the references is of course inspired by reality it's inspired by the real world and a lot of your favorite childhood movies once you get older and you begin to study them you realize that what these characters represent is something you know very relevant to the actual world for example one is a uh, spongebob if you ever grew up watching the the tv the kids show spongebob they say that each character within spongebob represents one of the seven deadly sins so one of them was mr krabs who only cared about money and he was willing to betray everyone just to get money he represents the sin of greed uh, then you had patrick who was a very lazy character never really liked to do anything you know he wasn't the smartest character they say he represents the sin of sloth so each uh, spongebob character represents and then you had sandy sandy was she thought she was smarter than everyone thought she was better than everyone she represented uh, i think it's pride pride or arrogance so each one of the spongebob characters represented one of the seven deadly sins so you know this happens a lot within child movies hollywood movies bollywood movies these are fictions these are fiction concepts however they have real life meanings behind them and you know they can be interpreted in relation to the modern world and star wars is definitely one of those films 
and throughout a lot of people images you'll see stormtroopers you'll see the robots from star wars and especially yoda people seems to have an obsession with yoda you'll see yoda within plenty of his images and i think i've clocked this image from the bat that this image is trying to represent colonization through the use of star wars characters you know you've got these uh stormtroopers in white outfits pointing guns towards these you know beastly looking people and i'm not saying people who get colonized are beastly looking people i'm saying in the eyes of the colonizers they are beastly looking people if you study colonization the uh, colonization of latin american countries the colonization of african countries the colonization of indian uh, counties you know the colonizers believe that the countries they're colonizing are in desperate need of help and they view them as beasts and as barbaric people and they act as if if it wasn't for our colonization these people would still be beastly and they will be primal and they need us more than they need them so i think this captures the mentality of colonizers and you know as you can see these uh these beast looking things they're coming out of the jungle they don't have guns whereas those who are invading them have guns and they're actually pointing their guns towards them whereas these guys look like the beast guys look like they're ready to use their hands they look like they're down for a scrap <laughs> you know they're ready to catch a fade <laughs> um so yeah this is just star wars being used in a creative way and i think i've honestly clocked this image right off the bat and yeah there's not much too much more to say about that but yeah man that's today's video not really a long one this was a fairly simple image compared to a lot of people images but as i said people does like to use a lot of star wars references so if I'm going to continue this channel, I definitely want to watch the Star Wars movies so I have a better understanding of Star Wars and because it, Star Wars characters do f feature themselves a lot within Beeple images as well as Mickey Mouse, as well as The Incredibles, as well as all types of famous Disney Pixar childhood characters who you'd see in the movies, you'd see in the TV shows they are featured within Beeple images and they're used within creative ways by the artist Beeple. So yeah, that's all I have to say about this image. Please like, subscribe. If I missed out on anything, if I made a wrong interpretation, if there's something I didn't pick up about the image that you want to point out, please leave your comments below. I'm not God. I'm not Beeple himself. I can't, you know, I can't you know just yeah like and subscribe